Hey high school leaders, it feels like it has been forever since I have made one of these posts. I hope that everything is going well for you personally and in your small group. I wanted to just take a second to introduce you to the new series that we're going to be beginning next Wednesday and it's called the We Series and I chose this series because it focuses on our second biggest priority in this youth ministry uh, which is connecting students to others to their Christian peers and to a mentor so uh, you know I think as most of you know I've been engaged for a while and I'm gonna be married on September 18th which uh, as of two days ago is five months away which I'm so excited about but at the same time means that I've been engaged for eight months and I have learned so much over these past eight months and I've learned a lot about my relationship with God because of my relationship with my fiance Robin you know, for example there's been times where I do something stupid and I say something I shouldn't have said, you know, like a lot of guys do. And I realize how much I've hurt Robin and I feel like a jerk. And I just realize how selfish I have been in the way, not only the things I'm saying, but how I'm acting. And I just, at the moment, I just want to separate myself from Robin for a little bit and, and get away and try to fix myself and try to figure out a way how to make up for this mistake by you know maybe a bunch of flowers or or maybe just like a, a letter of apology or something big that'll show her that I'm trying to make up for my mistake when really Robin is never that interested in me trying to make up for my mistake she's really just interested in us being together even when things are tough and us forgiving each other and being able to to grow in our relationship because of our forgiveness. And after doing this a few times, I finally realized, finally clicked that this is what I do with God. I'll, I'll make a mistake, I'll, I'll sin, I'll realize how selfish I've been in hurting my Creator and Savior, and I'll want to just separate myself from God for a little bit, and stop praying and stop reading my Bible as much, and just try to figure out a way to uh, do something good to be able to get back in God's good graces and make things right when really God is just interested in us being in constant communication with each other and me asking for His forgiveness and us growing in our relationship because of forgiveness. I really believe that God designed us to have relationships with other people so that we could understand our relationship with God. In other words, how we relate to others teaches us a lot about how we relate to God and also causes us to have an understanding about how God relates to us. And I believe that's the main reason God puts so much emphasis on us treating others the way we would want to be treated in Matthew 7 and why he stated that uh, you know, loving your neighbor as yourself is the second greatest commandment. You know, this series will remind students that they are not to, meant to live this Christian life alone. All the time, I see wonderful students who are so passionate and well-mannered and just gifted and all-around good kids until they get around a certain group of friends and then it's all downhill from there. That is, until they go back to church and they feel a responsibility to their church friends to pursue their relationship with God and then it's a completely different student. You know, the truth is that the group of friends that a young person spends their time with and is influenced by has a lot to do with their path in life and their relationship with God. We want it to be ingrained in their system that they need positive Christ-centered relationships in their life. When they graduate from our youth ministry, we want it to be their priority, find a community or just a group of friends that will push them to live Christ-centered far into their college and, and adulthood. You know, please don't ever forget that you are making a huge impact on these students' lives just by 
talking with them during the small group time and, and just by being their mentor. I thank God for you and I really am looking forward to this new We series. Um, all of the curriculum uh, is below um, and uh, so if you'll just download that, print it off and come prepared. I'm looking forward to a great series.